Hey all you players guys out there. Hey, I did a lot of videos lately and one thing I haven't done is the mighty Polaris Big Boss. I picked this thing up. This is a 1998 and uh, I've had 94s and 2001s but I've never ran across something like this. This is a 1998 with a 500 engine in it and uh, it's still got the uh, the two-stroke style transmission in it, which is interesting. Um, what I'm doing the video on today is the dreaded CV carb, a vacuum-operated carburetor. Uh, I got this thing running, but uh, I got to keep it on full choke, or the choke's got to be all the way open to keep it running. Once I close the choke, she dies, and I've been uh, monkeying around with this. I cleaned the carb, uh, did about everything I could think of. Uh, one thing I, I've uh, read it and heard about with uh, the 500s, if the valves start wearing, um, engine components start wearing, that you don't get enough vacuum to open up your throat on the carb down here. So, I've always wanted to try this, and uh, I've read uh, forums on how guys were uh, taking slide carbs and putting them on 500s. I mean, they did it on the scramblers. So, here's my test. I've got a carburetor, a slide carb, off a scrambler. And I've got uh, everything uh, all with it. Um, throttle cable, uh, the choke cable. Um, this opening, I'm sorry. This opening does fit for the 500 boot. Now the interesting part about this 500 scrambler, uh, sorry, 500 big boss, I'm thinking scrambler because it's got the same ear box as a scrambler does. So that opening should fit on that carb. How it will respond once I put it on, we will find out. So. I can uh, show you what uh, how this thing runs. Uh, like I said, I got a half ripped apart. Got it on uh, chokes all the way open. Let's start this baby up. It wore up a little bit. Once they start closing the choke, she wants to die. Uh, kind of stumped on why. Uh, like I said, I cleaned the carb, went through everything. I'm going to give that slide carb a try. And uh, it should make this thing a lot more snottier. It'll take off like a rocket. So stay tuned and uh, see what I come up with. Alright, you guys are going to love this. Got my uh, slide carb hooked up. I just got it hanging up here for now. Man, this thing really snorts once I start it up. Fire it up for you. Choke is off. I just got the saying in here for now, but yeah, here is that CV card. This thing's gonna take off like a rocket. I can't wait to try it out. All right, so I thought I'd show you what that air box looks like uh, for the uh, big boss. So if you want to take your uh, 500 Magnum or 500 Sportsman and uh, put a slide carb in. Try to find one of these air boxes. That should fit right up the holes. Uh, everything should work. Um, yeah, if you want to modify it, that'd be the way to go. I mean, this thing's got some snot now. So, hope you enjoyed my uh, little experiment. Um, hope that solves some of your guys' questions. I've been getting a lot of questions on, uh, you know, the choke cable, the carb. Those CV carbs are junk. I'm sorry. Uh, 
But uh, like I said, my, you can find a, somebody uh, parting stuff out. See my slide carb. I'm going to hook that all up nice. And uh, <laughs> this thing's going to fly. I'm really pleased about this. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty of players repairs on there. So I don't recommend doing this at home unless uh, you know things about carburetors. Uh, putting a, a slide carb on a four-stroke engine, um, you kind of got to be careful. You got to jet it right. Um, there's a chance that you could uh, lean out the uh, engine and burn it up. Um, but on that note, um, also what I forgot to mention is to make this work, you'll also need a newer style gas tank to have uh, clearance for the the cables that come up, the throttle cable, because it shoots straight straight up the carb. Um, otherwise, uh, with the uh, newer, with the uh, with this style of gas tank, uh, it was pretty flat, and the throttle uh, cable came up and it hit the gas tank. So if you can find a newer gas tank, slide that on. You got clearance. And like I said, this thing really snorted. I was pretty happy with it. Uh, put a new set of plastics on it, painted the box. Turned out pretty sharp. I can uh, smoke the back tires with this thing once it's finally take it for a test drive. So uh, here's another quick tick tip of the day. Uh, like I said, the Polaris 500s are known for airbox issues. The uh, airbox gets warped, or the cover gets warped. Sucks in too much air and your uh, your CV carburetor, your vacuum operated carburetor doesn't perform correctly. Um, also your hoses crack and they're sucking in air or they're blocking off air from the engine. That go to the air box. So many different issues. That's why putting a slide carb on just, you know, it improves power, it improves everything if you can do it right. Um, like I said, hope this tip helps you out. Uh, subscribe to my channel for other players repairs and... Thanks for watching.